if Search 1 was kind of Mad Max 1, Search 2 is the crazier, more extreme Big Brother. Welcome back to Deck 13 Inside. My name is Phil and I'm here with Peter, senior narrative designer. He's responsible for all quest-related content. So questions for starters, general question, what is the story of the Search 2 about? The story of the Search 2 uh, picks up right where the story of Search 1 left off. So we find out pretty immediately what happened with uh, the Utopia rocket and the fallout of it. So this means there is a mysterious nanite disease called Defrag spreading through a city, Jericho City, which is not too far away from the old Creo complex. So there will also be some uh, nice little cameos from the first game in there, but also a lot of new stuff and a lot of new areas to explore. Um, I think overall uh, our idea was if Search 1 was kind of Mad Max 1, which is like pre-apocalypse and kind of downbeat, Search 2 is the crazier, more extreme big brother uh, that goes a step further in pretty much every area. You said that the story will pick up right where the first one ended. How does it connect? Uh, it connects in a variety of ways to the first one, really. Um, we have uh, Creo, of course, in the game, which still plays a pretty big role. And we find out uh, what happened to Creo afterwards and where they are now. But uh, at the same time, we also have several NPCs who come back from the first game. Some which you may expect, some which you may absolutely not expect. Two of them have already been re revealed. The first one is, of course, spoiler, Warren. The second one is Benjamin Burke, a minor NPC from the first game, who has a much bigger role to play in the events of Search 2. At the same time, however, um, connections to the first game weren't enough because we kind of wanted to make this game in a way where it also stands on its own. So we also had to have a lot of uh, new factions and new areas of story to explore. So it stands on its own just as well as it connects to the first game. These factions you just mentioned, how do they differentiate? What is their purpose in the world? So uh, we have three main factions in the game. One of them is uh, Creo, of course, or what's left of Creo. So this is uh, the faction that basically represents science and knowledge. Then there is the AID, which is a military organization, um, kind of, I guess, a bit like something like ICE in America. So it's kind of like this evil force destined to really uh, throw down the gauntlet and really uh, terrorize people. But obviously from their point of view to good, do good and save the world. The third faction uh, is the Children of the Spark, which is our craziest faction. It's basically a techno cult that's obsessed with the idea of gaining eternal life through technology. And each faction is represented by at least one, sometimes several NPCs who really give this fa fa uh, these factions a lot of personality. As you just mentioned, the Children of the Spark, we saw the Matriarch, Brother Eli and little Johnny in the preview. Can you share some more information about them? Yes, um, the Children of the Spark are, are not just a terrifying techno cult, they are also basically a family business. Because you know how it is with organizations, nepotism always wins out. So of course she put her sons in, uh, Matriarch Celeste as the leader, she put her sons in uh, as her generals basically. Um, Matriarch Celeste is pretty much half Norma Bates from Psycho, half Madonna and all evil. So she's really this uh, fucked up old woman who uh, has this crazy idea of how to save the world. Uh, little Johnny, her younger son, is um, a morbidly obese criminal who's basically denounced the children of the spark and tried to make his own path by becoming a slumlord. And brother Eli is really the religious fanatic of the pack, the one true believer who really wants to make it all right and really play a big role in the events to unfold. And who knows, maybe he will. And that's it for this week of Deck 13 Inside. Thank you, Peter, for your time. If you watched this video on YouTube and missed the last two episodes, you can click right here or here to check them out. And please subscribe to our channel so you get the newest episodes in your sub box. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, bye bye.